When I first got locked up, the only way you could get books was to borrow them from the library or put in an order from a local bookstore using money that was on your account. Then a local civil rights attorney sued, saying that family members' First Amendment right to communicate with us was being abridged by their inability to send books. So the compromise was that family and friends could order books from any legitimate vendor, so Amazon or Barnes & Noble or whoever, and the books could be delivered directly from them to the prisoner. For me, that was huge, because instead of having to save money on my account to order the next book I wanted, I could just mention it to friends or family, and they would order it. So every Christmas, I would put out a Christmas wish list, and I would get this collection of books that would kind of see me through the first couple months of the year. Later, there was a local program that provided prisoners with free books, and it was amazing because guys wanted things like dictionaries and thesauruses and basic reference material. Reading was definitely a huge part of my existence for those 19 years. 